Today we will discuss how to draw a simple model in AMOS graphics. You can see here this is called AMOS graphics. This is a blank space which we use for drawing a model. On the left side you will find out various icons. All are important but we will use few of them especially when we draw a measurement model or structural model. Let's start with these three first. If you keep a cursor on any icon, you will find out its description. This icon is used for draw observed variables. This is for drawing unobserved variables. And this is for drawing a latent variable or add an indicator to a latent variable. So in first video, I would like to introduce only how to draw a model, simple model. So here I go. You click here on this icon, bring into this space and drag this icon. You can adjust size smaller to larger depending on the nature of your variable and leave the cursor. Let's say if your first variable has three questions or three items to measure. So you click three times and it will automatically draw three items. In other variables you have with four items, use the similar approach. Click four times and you can draw. Assume that you have three independent variables and one dependent variable. Instead of going again and again, what you can do is we go here, duplicate objects, and preserve symmetries. Remember that if you will not check this option and you only use this duplicate object, it will duplicate only a single latent variable. So instead of doing single latent variables duplication, we will check this option as well as this option. And I can draw here all together. Now in our example we have total four, four variables. All are upside. I want to adjust them so we can use this rotate the indicators of a latent variable. Click here and again preserve symmetries. You click and rotate different sides. Now we rotated three towards left and one to right side. I want to adjust them so we can move objects, click here and move into one place together here and this one you can move down, adjust it, make it beautiful. These are outside, we can make it closer because this value is still visible so having a large size of this arrow have no spe special meaning. So we can adjust here in this way. Now still the problem is this space is very small. I want to make it large so that my model can be adjusted. We go to views, interface properties, page layout and here you check landscape legal. Now you can see the space is enough. I can draw model with more variables even. Now these are called latent variables, these are called observed variables and these are called error terms. Later we will discuss when we will bring data into these spaces. In the second step we have to co-vary these latent variables. Why? Because structural equation modeling have two steps. The first is measurement model and second is structural model. So in measurement model, we always co-vary these latent variables. Here is one option, draw covariances, click here, bring when it turn red, drag from here, leave when it turn green. Start from here, here. Now you can see, you can draw. As this is simple model, so I can draw easily using this draw covariances. But sometimes we have a complex model, so sometimes it is difficult to draw one by one, so we can use another option. These are three icons. This is used for selecting all objects. 
this is selecting objects one by one and this is deselect all objects so we use this to select latent variables so after selecting these latent variables go to plugins here draw covariances plugins draw covariances click here and automatically this will draw covariances between latent variables now these arrows are outside and when we will run measurement model you will find out values on these arrows as well as values on these arrows so therefore we have to adjust them into middle so that we can easily see the values on each arrow we go here change the shape of object check and when one turn red just bring here and you can bring these arrows into middle side but still these are not adjusted we go here touch up a variable and click again go to change the shape of object bring this one closer this one you can further bring here and you will find out this one all arrows are in the middle uncheck so now your model is ready in second step we will discuss how to bring values into these variables and how to run a measurement model thank you